All right, we are live. Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to welcome everyone to the uh, Chatham Area Transit Performance Monitoring and Audit Committee. Um, I'm your chairman, Dietrich Leggy. Today is Tuesday, December the 7th, 2021, and now it's uh, 101 p.m. Uh, we want to call this meeting to order. Um, I see we don't have any committee uh, presentations or updates. Do we have anything, Ms. Raglan? No, sir. Okay, we can move we Adams. Okay, Mr. Adams is here also. Uh, so we can move on to- uh, Join the meeting. Uh, for December 21st, 2021. Okay, yes, sir. And we have six items on the agenda. Um, the first four items will be presented through the finance division. And Mrs. Cutter, I'll turn the floor to, over to you. Okay, as Ms. Raglan said, there are four items that I will be bringing forward. Um, the first is the um, electric bus uh, rollout plan and the action item seeks board authorization to move forward with an RFP prior to um, the approval and execution of the amendment to um, fiscal year 21 5307 grant. There is a, um, of course, you all know that the rollout really is already in progress. Um, some of the training uh, is being completed, but there are other uh, components of the rollout plan that needs to be defined and we really need to move forward. Uh, the application was submitted on November 22nd of this year. We anticipated an approval in early November. However, that did not happen. So uh, this, this item is seeking approval to move forward prior to a grant award and execution. Uh, the plan is to um, uh, go ahead with the RFP, um, use language in accordance to what the FTA requires, notifying potential proposers that the grant has not been approved and that the contract is really contingent upon that if the board decides not to utilize reserve funding to move forward with the procurement. So that's what uh, this action item is about. Are there any questions? Yes, Dr. Robinson. You're muted. You're muted, Dr. Robinson. I, I guess it says a consulting service, and we're 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 needing a, a consulting service to tell us what. Well, it's it's really a comprehensive plan, and um, directors, please understand that the consultant will be working in collaboration with staff. Um. Um, the what is being proposed is that the consultant come in and conduct research on from a comprehensive perspective as it relates to the electric bus versus the diesel bus, while staff is collecting and gathering information as well, working side by side with them. Um, the training component is typically identified um, by the manufacturer in in-house, the consultant may have some suggestions as well as it relates to that. Um, it's, it's just a comprehensive look at the uh, electric bus and what's needed, whether it's uh, housing, um, looking at the maintenance side of this, looking at verifying the, the training component, just a comprehensive look uh, based on national research. Mm -hmm. but, I, but, but I guess for me, it sounds like we're doing something on the, on the back end that should have been done on the front end. Is, is, is that a good um, perception of what I'm hearing? 
Well, um, and, and I, I guess you're saying the buses are here. Right. And, mm -hmm. and, and this, this, well, this is really a rollout uh, plan. The, the, the buses are here uh, getting ready to roll out. Some of it could have been done beforehand, but until you actually have the data um, that is captured um, from the clever devices that are installed on the buses, you really don't have a good picture of the pros and cons of the electric bus. So we're, we're kind of marrying it all together and bringing it together in a comprehensive report. And the Dr. training Bronson. is beforehand, of course, but the actual data analysis, uh, you can't really get that until the buses are actually uh, out there and the data is, is, is captured. Yeah, now, now that part I'm clear about. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really clear about that. I guess what I'm what I thought I was hearing, maybe I misunderstood, was there are some things that we're we're doing now that could have been done be before the bus was even purchased. You know, some of the research could have been done, or you know, like the housing of the buses. Yeah. You know, it just appears to me that I mean we have no we have no choice at this point because we got yeah. the buses. Um, I understand that some of that was done. Uh, years ago. Um, however, some may not, some of the concerns may not have been addressed. So this, this is an opportunity um, to have all of the questions answered, uh, wherein the board will have additional information to make a good decision as to whether to move in this direction uh, for the entire fleet or whether to incorporate um, just a small number of electric buses, you'll just have more information to make um, better decisions in the future. So, Ms. Cutter, excuse me, will we be able to, so will the, the consultant be the person that'll walk us through every part of this process? Um, uh, Director Leggett, I, I, I think that's a, a really good question. Um, yes, in collaboration with staff. Um, they will be working uh, with staff to uh, bring this report together. And what, what would be suggested to Mrs. Raglan is that there be periodic updates as we go through this process. So that if there's something being overlooked, the board can state their concerns at that time and it can be addressed at that time as well. If, if I may, the, the implementation of the rollout will also address um, some very simplistic things like uh, which routes the bus should be placed on, how long they'll be able to run during the day, um, what type of battery power we will get during the day, uh, infrastructure uh, support such as uh, charging stations in what sections of the city. Should we put charging stations on the east side because we have, we want to put three electric buses on this route or, or on this side or so things like that will be addressed as well. Ms. Ms. Raglan, do we have anybody in, that we are partnered with um, that have already have buses that we can we can ask questions from along with the consultant just neighbor to neighbor to find out if, if uh, they have any uh, issues with the bus or anything we need to look at? Now, Ms. Uh, Roundtree, Ms. Roundtree has communicated with some um, properties that already have done this type of bus uh, rollout plan. And that was one reason why we thought it was so important because we saw issues that they were uncovering, if you will. And we want to avoid those same types of mistakes. So she has been speaking to some um, properties and communicating, sharing information with some of those properties. Thank you, Ms. Roundtree. Yes, sir, Mr. Leggett. Are there any other questions? Okay, the uh, next item is the uh, request to for permission to release an RFP for the uh, comprehensive operation analysis and the TDP plan. 
uh, seeking approval here again. This is a, another project that's a part of the 50 FY 21 5307 amendment because of the delay in the grant award and execution. We need to move forward as the TDP has a deadline of June uh, 2022. So this, this action item is seeking uh, authorization to move forward with an RFP for those services uh, funded uh, if need be uh, by reserve funding and replenish once upon once the grant is awarded and executed. Any questions on that one? Okay. Uh, the next is just for information. Uh, right now, we are in the process of, of getting bids on consulting services uh, for um, specifications associated with construction of the two ferry boats. The bids are not expected, the quotes are not expected in until December 17th. Um, and wanted to alert the board that this is forthcoming uh, for approval on the meeting on the 21st of December. Any questions on that one? Okay. And then the last is the contract extension for infinity. Uh, this is our service provider that provides a service to support the software that CAT uses. The contract term expires December 31st of this year. And we are asking for board approval for a two-year extension to allow staff the opportunity um, to assess the IT needs to support the systems here at CAT. Currently, uh, all of the servers are being leased from Infinity. Are we talking about looking at other, other, other companies to do a price comparison or are we locked into Infinity? Um, with, with this recommendation, we will be locked into Infinity for the next two years. However, during the next two years, we will be uh, researching other opportunities, um, whether or not there's a recommendation to come forward to procure servers or in comparison to leasing the servers. Because right now, Dr. Robinson, the servers do belong to Infinity and we are leasing them. So they are providing that support to us. And as uh, Ms. Cutter said, this would give us ample time to do the research to seek other options if, if they're more feasible for Chatham Area Transit. Are there any other questions in regard to the contract extension? I think I have a sideline question. Um, I know it might not be important, but uh, being that we are leasing these servers, uh, what type of security do we have uh, from IT to make sure, you know, being that we're leasing these uh, servers, we're not hacked in any way? You mean um, cyber uh, security? Yes. Or, or the, physical security? Of uh, servers, right? Yes, sir. Well, they're, they're placed in an isolated location here on site and Infinity comes in routinely to um, examine them, if you will. They monitor them. That's all done through Infinity. So they, our, they have that responsibility. So our cybersecurity, we do have a, a, a our cybersecurity is always uh, monitored also. Yes, Make sure sir. that act or anybody can get into an Infinity account or through our yes, account. Sir. 
it was happening. They're, they're, they're really good at that. As a matter of fact, I sent something to uh, my cat email address over the weekend and um, it was not received until I came in yesterday to allow it to be delivered. So Infinity is very, very good at monitoring all of that. Yeah, because I don't want us to have to pay a ransom to get our stuff back. <laughs> we, we don't either. <laughs> but yes, they're, they're, I, I must say they are very good at what they do. We haven't had any complaints. Um, but at, as Ms. Cutter said, we need to renew the, the contract because it's about to expire. But we do want to look at other options. And they may be the best option but we'll have the opportunity to explore that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. But the, the next item on the agenda is the standing committee structure. And I don't wanna call it a revision. I like to call it a realignment because it's being placed or, or reconfigured to be more in line with what is represented in the agency, the departments and divisions of the agency. The information has been sent to you for your consideration. Uh, we'd like to ask if you have any comments or suggestions. I will inform you that the original, um, the initial draft was sent to legal. They did review it. Um, they're good with it. And it will go back to legal for final consideration after you've reviewed it and made any comments or suggestions as well. The chairman has reviewed it as well and he will be meeting or contacting each member of the board and making that decision to of which committee each board member will be assigned to. And I also want to note that we have also uh, included the two standing advisory committees that were part of the um, of, of Chatham Area Transit. In the past, we'd like to reinstate those committees as well, the Transit Advisory and the Business Advisory Committees. Are there any questions? Okay. And the final item for consideration today is the, the uh, fiscal year 2022 governance calendar. As you, knew, we, you know, we routine, routinely present this to the board. It's just, nothing has changed. It's just a matter of stating um, the dates for the next meetings for the remainder of the fiscal year. And the board, it always comes to the board for approval. Can I make one observation? Yes, ma'am. Um, with the layout of the A through F items, if yes, some of the items are just for information, mm -hmm. should we be calling those action items if we're not going if we're not going to vote on them, um, Chairman Leggett? I don't think we should. I mean, that, that's a good pickup. Yes, that is correct. I should have. Um, stated information item, and mm -hmm. it should have been in a different area on the agenda. Item C. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because when I saw it, I thought we were going to be voting, but when I heard the conversation said action, I mean, um, for information. So that was just an observation that I made. Yes, but it, it will be coming. Hopefully, we will be bringing it before the board on the regularly scheduled board meeting, though. So that's, that's correct. why it was placed as an action item. That's oh, correct. Okay, so, so okay, well then let me be clear then. So during the committee meetings, you're giving us information. And in the governance meeting, then there'll be a further discussion as rather than move it forward as an action item. Okay. We're hoping that it will be placed on the agenda for the regular board meeting to be voted on. But that'll be decided at the governance meeting. Whether it will move forward to the, um, uh, Consent agenda, consent agenda or not. Yes, ma'am. And Dr. Robinson, the reasoning it, it's presented as information is because the bids are not in and they won't be in until around the 17th. And we did not want to delay moving forward uh, until uh, the next meeting in January. 
I, I well, I guess to me, it's just a matter of how it was worded when it was presented. Mm-hmm. You know, when it said information, I was just wondering. Yes. You you said I'm saying if it was an action item, it's an action item, and you just kind of you just kind of bring us up to date and to where we are with moving this forward. So. Yes. So you all would know that it's coming on the 21st when the bids come in. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh That concludes the uh, items for agenda, Chairman. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, 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 Old business, new business, our um, harassment, discrimination and retaliation policy revisions. Yes, sir. We just wanted to put that as a placeholder, if you will, because we have been reviewing some policies, as I've stated to you on previous occasions. We are reviewing policies, and this one in particular, the harassment, discrimination, and retaliation policy will need some revisions um, that we feel are necessary to protect the agency. So we want to put it as a placeholder with old business. It's not a new policy, but we're just making some revisions to it. And that's why we placed it under old business, but it will be on the, uh, it will be hopefully ready for governance um, on next week to move forward. Thank you. Any questions from anybody else about this, uh, this policy revision? Dr. Robinson, nothing? <laughs> <laughs> but if, if that's the end, um, our next meeting would be December 14th. That's our governance meeting again. Uh, and December 21st is our regular board meeting. Uh, that's the end of our agenda. Um, before I adjourn, I just want to say that I appreciate each and every person on this call. Uh, all of you guys, if nobody even tell you that you are essential, all of the employees, you guys do your job at a high level that uh, other agencies don't do. You might not get the pat on the back or the kudos, but believe me, believe me. The, uh, the directors that are on here right now support you wholeheartedly and I appreciate the job that you do because the members of our community who are challenged, they respect what we do, they need us and they reach out to us for various reasons. So again, I pat you on the back, I, I pray for you and I, I look forward to when we can get back together and, and once we on top looking back at all the things that we've done, we appreciate it because we can celebrate each other then. There's nothing thank else. You. I did uh, tell thank you. Thank you. I, I did tell what you just said. I did tell all of that. Thank okay. you. <laughs> if there's nothing else, I uh, I adjourn this meeting. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Bye bye.